today I'm gonna be recreating the Smiths family from The Sims 2, which I believe is probably one of the most iconic families in Sims history. And I know that's a bit of a stretch considering they were only really in one game, but actually my opinion is far more valid than the history of The Sims. So when I say they are the most iconic family in Sims history, it means what it means. And you know what? We all know that The Sims 4 kind of messed up already known families like the Goth family and the Kelly. Oh God, don't even remind me about the Kelly. So in a way, I am sort of glad that the Smiths family is not officially in The Sims 4. I know Maxis has them on the gallery, but honestly, if they don't come with an expansion pack and aren't already in the game, they don't actually exist. But the Gamer Girl, they do exist. They're on the official Maxis gallery. I said they don't exist, so don't argue with me. I am in no mood to argue, except I apparently am because I just argued with myself. Hello, how are you doing today? So if you don't know anything about the Smiths family, don't don't worry, I don't blame you because The Sims 2 is still not on Origin, so there's really no way for you to know except for watching this video where I will tell you who the Smith family are. And they're kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. There's like a, I know it's an alien family, so you think, ah, interesting, but they're just your normal suburban family, except the dad's an alien. It's actually a cute story. So the dad who was an elder at this point, his name is Pollination Technician number nine. And his job was, you know, he was from the planet where aliens come from from, I'm not gonna typecast him, I don't know where he's actually from, except that I know he's from space. And his job used to be being a pollination technician, so you might think, oh, flowers, no, he means pollinating the human race. Essentially, he has been inseminating the sim world for as far back as we can remember. His job was to abduct sims at random, not even on Earth, by the way, apparently he's been doing this on other planets, I don't even want to start with that, but he's literally been abducting people and basically giving them the gift of birth of having an alien alien baby and then just leaving. He's basically pumping and dumping and leaving us with the responsibility. He is basically Zeus and every other Greek god in Greek mythology where they're like, hey, have my baby. Oh, are you breathing? Have my baby. That was his job. But during his many travels, he actually fell in love with a woman named Jenny. So when he finally retired from pollinating the entire galaxy, he said, I'm gonna go back to my favorite planet. So he got, he settled down and he got married to Jenny Smith and and they just are living a happy life with two kids. Now, the thing is with Jenny, and I don't wanna judge anybody because I've played Mass Effect and I would 110% fucking alien. There are several aliens in that game where I'm like, you know what, you are my type. I'm not gonna judge her for that. However, she's got a bit of an alien fetish and her family does too because she actually has a brother in the Curious family, which I've not remade yet. And I know we're crossing wires here, but basically her family has been obsessed with aliens for no goddamn reason. She loves loves the color green. The Sims 2 doesn't actually have a favorite color thing like The Sims 3 does, but everything she wears is green and her eyes are green. So she fell in love with the green man. I am not surprised. I bet if Shrek came along first, she'd be living in the swamp right now. But anyway, they both have two beautiful children. The first one's name is Johnny, I think. I'm not gonna double check that. I'm pretty sure his name is Johnny, which by the way, when I was a kid, I don't know why I thought he was cute, but I did. And they have a little daughter named Jill. They're there's literally nothing interesting about these two children at all. They're just kind of there, Jack and Jill, or Johnny and Jill. I'm thinking about that fucking Adam Sandler movie. Oh my God. The only thing I know about Johnny is that he's dating Ophelia Spectre, who I remade last week. If you want to go watch that video, but watch this one first, because you know, watch time is really important. And you know, I just want to show you the house because by the way, remaking this house was a pain in my ass. I don't know why. It's just a regular suburban family home, but I don't know why I struggled. I don't know why it took me like three to four hours to do this house. I think I made it too big. I think I'm gonna downscale my builds now because I think they're way too big, but it did give me a fucking headache and maybe a tummy ache. I don't know. It might've been what I ate that day. Now this build reminds me of when I remade the Pleasant Family from The Sims 2 and it was just a wonderful suburban house. However, in that build, I tried to copy the floor plan and make it exactly the way it was. That is not the case with this build. I was like, you know what? Fuck this floor plan. For some reason, the living rooms in The Sims two are so fucking small. Like here, have this massive bathroom, but you know what? The living room, just hide in the corner and watch a movie because there's literally no room for you. So I was like, this floor plan is gonna give me a headache. And then I did a floor plan that I think in retrospect is not the best floor plan and it still gave me a headache. So honestly, I didn't save myself any time. Here, fake gamer girl, built a really complicated drug lab and also crack house. Yeah, that's fine, no problem. But hey, built a regular ass house. I don't know how to compute anymore. 
question mark? Now, obviously with these builds, I try and modernize it as much as I can, but also staying as close as I can to the source material. Cause even though this game was only out in the early 2000s, let me goddamn tell you, it was a wild goddamn world out there. The fashion, the clothes, the furniture, like who approved this? Why did people back then just collectively say, hey, that looks really nice. Actually, I'm shit talking, but I actually really, really love the early 2000s aesthetic. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I just mumbled all of that. I'm not even gonna retry and record that. Like that would just came out as blah, 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 blah. Can you understand me? What I was trying to say is that I actually really love the early 2000s aesthetic a lot. I don't like the furniture back then. I feel like everybody's living room looked like a grandma's living room, but the fashion, take me back there. Man, I miss wearing ties on top of tank tops and the super baggy pants. Oh my God. And the makeup, can we bring back just obnoxiously silver eyeshadow? I mean, I could just wear whatever I want, right? But I just feel like culturally, I'm very much pressured to look like an e-girl and that's just where we are right now. The fuck is an e-girl? By the way, this is one of the longest builds I have literally ever done in my life. And I don't, I try, I don't want to like cut things out of my speed build. I want you guys to see the process, but I was like, this video is so long. And I'm like, are you guys going to be able to handle me speaking for almost 30 minutes? I know you guys comment all the time. Do a podcast, do a podcast. This is the closest you're going to get. And I don't think you're going to want one after this. Cause like, if you get me in 15 minute doses, I am literally tolerable and sometimes not even compared to a lot of my comments saying I'm literally intolerable, intolerable. I'm not intolerable. I'm not intolerant. I'm losing fucking track. My mind is not working today. I'm literally, okay. My point is small doses, fake gamer girl, not so bad. Long doses, large doses, b b large doses, Jeff Bezos, too much, I think. You guys are catching me at a very weird point today. My brain has literally just fucking split open like a melon with a hammer on the melon. Like if you hit a hammer, it, no, if you, <laughs> if you hit a melon with a hammer and it opens, that's where my brain is at right now. Like thoughts are just pouring in and I just have to let them out. I don't actually know what is happening, but it, I'm so glad I am here to record it right now. Like how in the actual fuck am I gonna talk about something for almost 30 minutes? I'm actually starting to regret doing this because I never know what to talk about. Like, okay, I'm building things. Wow, you can see that. I don't, I can't see it right now because I just record my audio separately because honestly who cares what I'm doing is that a living room yeah probably if it's not then it probably isn't and if it's confusing and you can't tell whether I'm actually making a living room or not then I'm just a fucking shit builder am I actually good at building because nobody's ever told me I just kind of put YouTube videos out and just hope oh yeah that's right because just because you see somebody post a YouTube video called speed build doesn't mean it's good like what if none of my builds are actually good that would be fucking hilarious I'm sat here on my high throne like yeah my builds are the best and this is how you should build. And my builds are like actual crap. I should just get worse at building. I think that would actually be amazing content. Speaking of builds and if they may or may not actually be crap, I am ready for this week's speed build competition. Not speed build. I keep saying speed build, but just the building competition. Using this hashtag on the gallery, I want you guys to make the best, coolest build that you can make. It could be anything, but using base game only. That's right. No packs allowed. Okay, that means anybody can submit. I felt really bad that my last one was mostly get famous stuff. So you know what? No packs. If there's a pack, I'm not looking at it. It shows you which packs are used in the actual gallery. So no packs. Base game only show me anything. It could be the coolest thing ever. It could be disgusting if it's even possible to do that base game. But do it. Do it. The deadline to submit your builds will be to, what is it? I actually forgot the deadline. Oh, there it is. It's Thursday, April 22nd. You have until then to have them uploaded onto the gallery for a chance to show up in my next week's video. Wow. I'm just literally praying for you guys because I don't think I've used a base game item just in general in so goddamn long. And it just makes me think like, wow, that's how the game launched. Like if you just look at all the base game items now and you just look at them and you really think about it, you're like, why? the fuck did this game come out? Is that acceptable? It's all, I'm not gonna get into it. I already wrote a fucking Sims 4 diss track, okay? Like, do I even have anything more to say? Yes, I actually do. I 
really need to take a piss right now, but my bathroom is occupied and just I keep drinking water and because I'm thirsty, but I also really need to pee and this is just not a really good situation going on on weather, but it's not a good situation going on right now. Like, how am I so self-destructive? Like, I'm not even doing anything that harmful. Like, I'm not self-destructive in a way where I will literally go out of way at my weather. I will literally go out of my way to ruin my life. I'm not doing that, but like, I will inconvenience myself for no other fucking reason than I just have to. Like, why would you, if you needed to pee, you wouldn't be around water if you could choose to. You wouldn't just chug water. But I'm literally doing that. And I don't know why. And I'm still like, I have my mug. I have this really nice Game of Thrones mug that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. It was a beautiful gift. Um, But I just keep chugging it. And I know I'm like, hey, just wait till you pee. Oh my God, I just spilled water on myself. <laughs> I am just a literal fucking disaster. Why do I exist? Is there anybody I can ask about that? Like, can I just put in a, a, an inquiry as to why am I here? I mean, I am here uh, obviously to entertain the masses while also needing to piss and then spilling water on myself, which didn't help the piss problem. Are you eating while watching my videos? Cause I'm so fucking sorry, but you should know better than that right now. And if you've never seen any one of my videos, hello, I'm fake. Gamer girl, <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Me, heavenly arriving at the pearly gates of heaven. I'm so graceful and I go up to God and I say, God, will you tell me why you added me onto this earth? Why did you create a sim me? And God says, because I need you out there to entertain the masses and also soil yourself in water and maybe piss yourself if I'm feeling really frisky. That is why I am here. This is my purpose. I am your sims messiah. Nice to meet you. The cool thing about this Game of Thrones mode by the way, because it's very big. It's a big boy. I actually, I have arthritis in my wrists, so I can't hold things or like pull things or anything. So it's a really fucking heavy, chunky boy. But I love it because if I stuff my face in like this, it fucking echoes and it's so cool. Whoa, that was actually really loud. Can I do the rest of my voiceover like this? Can I be in the Game of Thrones prequel show, by the way? I can't act. I have no history in acting at all. And I also don't have the best English accent. Um, so really statistically there is no reason for me to be in the Game of Thrones show at all but can I be in it? Can Twitter do your thing happen? And at this point if even if even there was a chance of like a YouTuber being on a TV show they'd probably be like oh yeah we can have you as an extra or like a character that shows up for a scene and I'm like no I want to be the main character please. The most amount of screen time goes to the woman who cannot act who is literally too fucking short to be on television that is me can I be on this? You know I'm in the mood for some drama. Did you know that I actually really liked the last season of Game of Thrones? Am I canceled? Hold on. I'm gonna go take a piss now because I think I can actually go take a piss now. I really need to go and it would be okay. It would be really funny if I actually did do that and actually piss myself during a speed build like that would be prime content, but I don't think I'm that, you know, desperate right now. No, I'm desperate to pee. I just don't mean I'm that desperate for entertaining stuff because I feel anyway, I've really I have to go. I'm sorry. I really have to pee. I'm back for you. That was probably not even a millisecond for me. I really... Okay, why is it when I... Okay, I'm getting TMI here. Let's go. I, I don't know why whenever I have to pee and I'm peeing and I'm in the middle of something, it's the longest piss of my life. Like, I try and do things quickly. You know, I don't want to sit there on the toilet with my pants down because anything could happen. And if anything could happen, I'd rather it didn't happen while I'm vulnerable, like probably my most vulnerable state. But it always takes forever when I'm in the middle of something. Something. But maybe one day I'm like, you know what? I could probably sit on the toilet for a little bit more time and it's like boom you pee you're done peeing. Wow. I might why does my body inconvenience me? Like, does it know? Does my bladder know? Like huh, this bitch is in the middle of a speed build. Watch this. I've been saving this for two weeks. And you know what? At, despite all the trouble that I am having, I can finally chug water in peace. I can literally just overhydrate myself because why the fuck not? I'm really okay, my throat really fucking hurts right now. And and that's why probably if you've noticed or maybe not because I on it I don't know I don't fucking know how uh, uh, perceptive you are I don't know what your perception skill check is like but my voice might sound a little bit different today because you know what I fucked my voice somehow I don't know you know what I did to fuck my voice actually I just woke up nothing happened I just woke up and I was like wow I cannot speak and maybe I'm making it worse by screaming about piss but like I said I'm self-destructive that's such a scorpio thing to do shut up just shut up I might 
my voice is fucked. Why did I tell you to shut up? I am a Scorpio. I don't even believe in horoscopes, but I'm very, like, adamant about my horoscope. Because I was born on a cusp. I'm born on the same cusp as Snoop Dogg, by the way. Just so you know, I'm spiritually the same fucking person as Snoop Dogg, apparently. But even though I don't believe in horoscopes, I am, like, I am a Scorpio. Identify me as a fucking Scorpio. And that I bet somebody's like, wow, that's a Scorpio thing to do. And then I tell them to shut up. Like, when people... Okay, I don't know why. If I don't believe in horoscopes, but I'm still adamant about horoscopes and people tell me I am a Scorpio and act like one, I get upset. Is that a Scorpio thing to do? Or is somebody gonna misidentify me as a fucking Aries or something like, well, actually, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Why am I arguing with you? You're not even here. I'm arguing with myself. I don't know what happened between me getting up to piss and me coming back, but a different fake gamer girl's in this chair right now. And I'm kind of fucking scared of her. And I'm literally stuck with this bitch for the next 10 minutes. I, you are not even me. You are. I mean, you have the actual option to click away, which I do not recommend. No matter how bad it gets, please just give me watch time because I had to sit here with this dumb bitch. And I'm literally like, what is happening? What am I even fucking talking about? I actually forgot I'm recording a speed build thing. When was the last time I talked about Sims during this whole entire thing? It was definitely before the 10 minute mark. What is happening? And no, I'm not on drugs i say i have to okay what kind of fucking channel do i have where i have to <laughs> the disclaimer the fact that i'm not under the influence of anything and people still don't believe me it's like what am i i am literally i am a chronically ill woman i can't even have paracetamol without fucking feeling like i'm gonna explode and you think i'm on hard drugs and or alcohol i don't even remember the last time i had a sip of alcohol and all i remember was that i was extremely annoying and like like, I couldn't stop being annoying. Like, do you ever feel that? Like, you're literally just, you're going on this thing and you can feel yourself being so overbearing, but you just don't stop. And like, I know I was being annoying and I genuinely couldn't stop. So I was literally asked, to go to a different room. How embarrassing is that? That you are so annoying that you have to escort yourself to a different fucking room to be away from everybody else. And I wasn't even offended because I genuinely thought that was the best choice in that scenario. I wasn't even bullied into it. But no, apparently I am on drugs. Where did I get these drugs and how much did I pay for them? Can I have some of whatever the fuck I'm having? Except disclaimer, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. It's not worth it. Just fucking play The Sims. You'll go insane in no time. Speaking of Sims insanity, I feel like I'm starting to hit that, you know, that time of the year where like, you're like, okay, maybe Sims is feeling a little bit still right now. They're going to release something soon. I'm so sure of it. That's not a, a actual insider information. I literally don't know anybody at EA Games. I literally, I'm as far away from that as I like, possibly could ever be. It just feels like it's that time, you know? Anyway, I'm thinking, I'm still going to do daily, uh, semi-daily, whatever Sims content, so don't even fucking panic, okay? Okay, but I'm thinking about doing like reaction videos or something of that sort or just like looking at memes or something like something chill You know, would you want to watch that because I don't want to give you guys content that you won't want to watch But would you because I kind of want to do that I also okay one of my dream videos I've always wanted to do was me making or not making baking a cake because I literally don't know how to make food I mean, I know how to make certain dishes, but I'm honestly awful and I just want to make a cake bake a cake with no ingredient Well, no I have to have ingredients with no recipe. That's what I mean. I want to do that with no recipe or anything and just on my own, unhinged in the kitchen. Nobody tell me whether uh, what I'm doing is right or wrong. Like, I want to do that so bad, but my kitchen is literally like the pokiest little smallest piece of shit ever. I've tried filming in there and it just doesn't work. But one day I will get a setup where I can bake a cake and just watch what fucking happens. That's my dream YouTube video right now. Fake Gamer Girl How to Basic Collab When. You know what would actually be super helpful? and might actually be a good viable way for me to do my voiceovers, especially when they're super long, because this is like the longest one I've ever done. And I'm like, usually I'm just like so present when I'm doing these, but I'm literally like sat back in my chair. I've got my fucking water mug with me, keeping me company. I would love talking points. I feel like I need that in day-to-day -day life anyway, because communicating with people is just so difficult to me sometimes. Like, what the fuck do I say? Like, I exist. You exist. Congratulations. Let's talk about existing, I guess. But yeah, if you guys have 
have topics you want me to just fucking go on about? Tell me. That would be so fun. I like that formula now. I actually don't know if it works. It could be the worst thing ever and could ruin my engagement in my videos. However, I am here to experiment because I am so just, I am so freeform. You know, I am like water. You just shake me around. Can you hear my wa- <gasps> Can you hear my water in there? It sounds so cool, doesn't it? I love giving you guys water ASMR despite the fact I literally hate ASMR, but I talked about that in my last speed build video and I don't want to go into it again because it really upset me. Oh my god, you guys, you know, somebody brought this to my attention, by the way, uh, a couple of videos ad 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 ago. Wow, I, I'm so good at speaking. Wow, I should try like starting a YouTube channel. That would go right out of <laughs> Joker can't speak. What was I talking about? Anyway, somebody brought it to my attention. I did a, a couple episodes ago, I did a video that was a doggy daycare, and I think one of the dogs was missing, like, for most of the time, and I just didn't notice, so, like, literally, a dog was not present during my doggy daycare, and there was no dog, and I just didn't know. I am so responsible. That's such a scary sentence. The dog is not present. Okay, here's the talking point now. I really want you guys to tell me what is a sentence that like isn't threatening shouldn't be threatening but sounds extremely fucking threatening like that the dog is not present i would cry why is the dog not present where did he go why does he have to be actually i would definitely do a video of reading those in scary voices if i'm if i can even do a scary voice i don't i, I shouldn't be doing voices right now because my throat is fucked but i really i just really want to do it by the end of the year my channel is going to be 50 percent sims content and the other 50 percent just like my voice acting show real, but like absolute bullshit. Is the speed build still going on by the way? Or did I just like fucking turn it off or something? Like wh where are we right now? What's happening? Is the house being built? Did I actually finish it? Cause God knows I do not remember. Like, do you care anymore? Like the house is getting built. There's also a montage at the end, but don't skip to it. Cause there's still lots of juicy content. Lots of nice things we could talk about you and me together. How are you? Are you doing good? Ever since I started asking people how how they're doing and to stay hydrated in my speed builds. I get so many messages now from people saying, fake gamer girl, drink water. Like, bitch, I am. I never stop. I am made of mostly water. I mean, you are too, but I think I'm made of more water because I drink more fucking water than you. And if you want to beat me, drink some water right now. Don't dehydrate yourself. It's dumb. What the fuck is wrong with my fingers right now? I don't like, wait, hold on. I think part of my amazing mug, I love this mug, is like rubbing off on my fingers because my fingers look dusty. How the fuck can a finger look dusty? Like, it, and it's only on my left hand in which I grab things with because I am a lefty and this is my dominant hand and I will fucking use it for everything. Um, but why do my fingers look like that? I've never, okay, I know you can't see it, but I've never seen my fingers look like this. I don't like the way they look. I should just use a straw. But a fucking reusable straw because I fucking love turtles. But yeah, you know what? I don't need Sims PR. I don't need no EA Game Changer loot box, okay? I've got a fucking bust the dust kit in my fucking hand right now. Gonna dust the bust. Do you think cars are gonna come in a kit? Do you think- Okay, like, okay, hold on. I don't agree with kits. If you've seen my kits video, you already know. And I'm saying kits, uh, not kids, uh. I'm not talking about children. I'm talking about horribly marketed fucking expansion packs. Anyway, if I was on the Sims team or EA or whoever makes these decisions, and obviously the community does not seem to like kits very much. If I wanted them to like kits, I'd put fucking cars in a kit. I would do that. I mean, I wouldn't do that because morally, I think they should have been in the game to begin with. However, if I was devoid of all morals, a car kit, you could just, a car kit. It just sounds like it would work, right? Car kit, car kit, carcass. Oh no. I kind of, I just want to, do a brainstorm of like the most cursed kits that you could ever make and I said that fucking slowly because I know my dumb ass would not be able to say that if I said it fast. Cursed kit. I mean I, th that worked but I was more prepared. Anyway, like dead body kit, graveyard kit, baby vomit kit. Okay, but like the low polygon mac and cheese in the Sims 4 kind that not gonna lie looks like baby vomit a little bit. You'll never make a mac and cheese for your Sim ever again. But you know okay, but considering, okay, I'm gonna talk about gross shit now. Wow, I'm giving 
giving you a warning for when I'm gonna say something really gross. So if you're gonna, if you're eating right now, maybe pause the video and come back or put your food away, but don't actually click off the video anyway. Why? Okay, considering that vomit is actually really disgusting and everybody on this earth, minus like some people are really repulsed by it as they should be. Why do so many foods look like vomit? Like, just give me some porridge, looks like vomit. Some mashed beans looks like vomit. Vomit? Vomit. Why, why can't I fucking say simple words? Sometimes when you put stuff in mashed potatoes, it looks like vomit. Soup is very liquidy vomit. Why? Why can't we have more solid foods? But then I remember that there are jelly beans that were literally made to taste like vomit and other things. And like, why? Okay, first of all, what are the ingredients in artificial vomit? First of all. Second of all, why the fuck would you do that? And the poor bastard who had to sit there and taste test it. How did he know that that jelly bean tasted like vomit? What if his memory served him incorrectly and he thought, oh, this specific jelly bean does taste like vomit, but it actually didn't. So in order to compare the jelly bean to actual vomit, did he have to actually eat vomit? You tell me because this is a fucking mystery. And if so, I want to know who that person is and why did they do it? And why do people buy those jelly beans? And you might be like, well, fake gamer girl, you tried it. You bought them. I didn't fucking buy them. I was just encouraged to have some and I didn't want to do it, but I ate it because I was like, there's no way, but it did. And also there's ones that taste like spoiled milk, rotten egg. Like what the fuck? I don't really like Harry Potter. So why did I have their jelly beans? And you know what? I, okay. I read the books. Fine. Whatever. They're good books, I guess. But like the actual existence of those disgusting ass Harry Potter jelly beans makes me fucking hate Harry Potter. Harry Potter can get fucked. And I know everyone's like, but you look like the character from uh, Harry Potter with the hair. I don't. You just think I do because we have the same hair. I don't think I ever even liked Harry Potter. Why am I talking about Harry Potter now? This, this is why. This is why my speed builds usually cut off before this point. Usually they don't even really hit 20 minutes and this is just, you let me keep going. You are enabling me to keep speaking. And this is what you get and we are all suffering for it. Like what is happening? My brain, I don't, oh, there's a fucking fly in my face and it's been here for like a day. I was in the middle of something and now this fly is distracting me. <laughs> the, the, basically my point is these speed builds are not supposed to go on this long. They are literally like, I am supposed to keep my mouth shut after a certain amount of time and I don't think my brain will fucking recover from this. I'm not supposed to open my mouth for very long. How would I ever stream? Well, actually, fake gamer girl, you can stream right through OBS. You just have to open it and then you have to set it up to your Twitch account and or YouTube. Shut up. That's not what I meant. Fucking snarf fuckle. Uh, I'm so tired. The fly is now in my mug and I think that's where I'm just gonna fucking cut this off. I, I hope you have a wonderful day. Day. I can say words. Um, and also here's a montage of the builds that I was building in case you forgot and I hope the Smith family can make a glorious comeback in another Sims 4 expansion pack and or the Sims 5 it is if if it ever exists. Have a wonderful day. I love you.